Acromegaly is a rare but serious hormonal disorder caused by a non-cancerous tumor within the pituitary gland. It's a multidimensional disease that affects a person's appearance, internal organs, and hormonal balance, and can lead to serious health complications if left uncontrolled. Because acromegaly can be difficult to diagnose and manage, many patients want to raise awareness and help others who are navigating life with this disease. Here are some of their experiences. So I spent 15 years uh, on my journey to diagnosis. So probably from 1994 to 2009, going through about 14 different doctors. I was diagnosed in 2008 after being misdiagnosed for over six years. My feet went from a size seven to an 11 before my surgery. Um, my hands um, became really large. Uh, my voice changed. Uh, my facial features changed. Really bad fatigue was my biggest issue. At first I felt sorry for myself that I had um, the tumor, the acromegaly. That was, in the one hand, a, a great relief and to finally have an explanation. But then on the other side of that was, yeah, so now what? I really started to research the disease and the different treatments and started asking my healthcare providers a lot of questions and really started to push to get the treatment that I needed. My levels are, are finally normal uh, for the first time in 20 years. It's been a long journey and it's a journey I'm gonna be on for the rest of my life. So I'm really trying to keep that in mind and Remember that everything I do today has really long-term impact. If I would have had options, if I would have had more to know, my doctors had known more, this would not be an issue and I would be in a lot uh, better position. I want to get back to the community because it was a really tough journey for me, and I think we've come a long way, and it's a lot better for patients today. For more information and resources for people living with this disease, please visit www.acromegalyinfo.com within the United States and www.novartisoncology.com outside of the United States.